<laughs> Today, most people might think about genome sequencing as something that gets done in the doctor's office, but a growing number of consumer genetics companies are looking to change that. And one of those companies is startup Helix, and it's got a secret weapon. It was founded out of Illumina, the world's largest maker of genome sequencing equipment. And today, Helix is opening up what it calls the first online consumer marketplace for DNA-powered products. You can think of it like an app store offering products based on your genes. They're working with a series of consumer-focused partners to provide information about diet, fitness, ancestry, even what kind of wine you like, all based on your DNA. And joining us now to tell us more are Illumina Executive Chairman and Chairman of Helix, Jay Flatley, and Helix CEO, Robin Thurston. Gentlemen, thanks for being here this morning. Thank you for having us. So, Robin, maybe we'll start with you. Tell us about the business model here. You guys are basically charging $80 to sequence people's genomes, and then you can buy these products on top of it? Yeah, so we're essentially creating a, an easy way for you to get in the marketplace by doing the upfront sequencing. We are subsidizing that to get people into the marketplace, but then essentially the, the app store is not dissimilar to, say, Apple's app store in that the partners decide what they want the product prices to be, and then we do a revenue share on those products that they're offering in the marketplace. $80 seems really low. I mean, how much are you really subsidizing this, Jay? We've talked for so long about how Illumina is driving down the cost of sequencing, but it's not at $80 a person yet, right? It's not, no. We uh, are sequencing the Exome Plus in the case of Helix, so we're not doing the entire genome, but we will get there at some point in time. Uh, but as prices have continued to come down, uh, we thought we really could put this business model into the marketplace now, subsidize the initial purchase, and then make the revenue share over time with repeated access the way that Helix you're, you're and Illumina gain the, the revenue. What do you say? The Exome? The Exome is, well, we call it the Exome Plus. Plus yeah. About and 400. what is that? Yeah. So it's all of the genes in the genome, 22,000 genes plus about 400,000 extra places in the genome that are known to be important. But not, the function is still unknown of much of that, right? Well, we're very early in understanding That's overall what, I mean. what the human genome exactly. means. Exactly, so, so what are the most useful things that we already know about that you would do this for that it would give you some insight into? And I, do you think we're at 2% of useful information? What are we at in terms of, if you had to estimate of the actual intellectual knowledge that we have about the entire genome? 2%? We know a lot about the genome, genome. but yeah, in terms of where we're ultimately going to get 10 or 20 years from now, we know a very small think? fraction. Yeah, Probably it, not 2%. Not, not even 2%. Be. So what's the most useful thing you can, can I find out if I'm prone to being an alcoholic? Can I find out if I, I mean, I would imagine that BRCA, people that have HER2 genes, people that have specific anomalies that are that predispose you to a horrific disease that I'd like to know other than that what can you tell me that that I uh... well I think in the it's, it's certainly in the health space um, you know the analogy I like to give is that essentially because of how much clinical research has been done if you were discovering America in the health category we might be as far as the Mississippi a lot of debate about how far along we are but in all the other categories like fitness I think nutrition you're um, or, it, or maybe the DR. In, it, in fitness and nutrition, we're certainly much, much earlier, but there are some really important things. Like uh, part of our um, ad campaign that we're launching today around Crack Your Code is in areas like lactose intolerance, where right. seven in 10 people essentially develop lactose intolerance during You're their lifetime. Who's gonna develop yeah, and so knowing that it. information and then using yeah. it every day is potentially right, powerful. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.